the purpose of the lab is to recreate and simulate an actual automotive manufacturing environment at a high volume. Typical assembly plant volumes are 50 second cycles. The Lego car has 273 pieces and we can set up 15 workstations at the same pace as a typical automotive assembly plant. The students are able to uh, experience, uh, and I, I stress experience rather than learn, they're able to experience most all best practices in an automotive assembly operation. So our job is to make sure that we incorporate those disciplines into this environment so that they can experience it. It's pretty much challenging uh, because like our goal is to uh, simulate a, a real factory even though we're using Lego. Uh, so our goal is like to have our manufacturing system having like an output of let's say 50, 50 cars in an hour which is basically a cycle time of like one minute per car. It's the Toyota production system, commonly known throughout the manufacturing world as lean manufacturing, and it's uh, really the primary third generation of manufacturing after mass production with Henry Ford that really drove the entire automotive world. So all lean manufacturing best practices are also included in this lab, so our students really get well grounded in those principles. No, I never thought I was going to be playing with Legos. Right. But it has taught me a lot that, that something you think is so simple can be made into something that is more complex in the end. I mean, having the car that's over 100 pieces and having 15 stations to make one car, and you would think it was so simple, but really, something so simple can be more complicated than you think. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty excited when they see the Legos. It's, it's, it's kind of a fun exercise, but I can tell you that the processes and the difficulty of assembly and meeting the quality and throughput objectives are very real.